<laughs> it's funny how people hear that you you fix things like cars or pipes or houses or tractors or whatever and I'll go ahead and assume that you can fix anything. <laughs> yeah. So while it's semi flattering it's it's a little nerve wracking. It's like, well, just because I can fix one thing or two things doesn't mean I can fix everything. But you kind of don't want to tell them that. This is a drone. Alright? And it was brought to me by a family member. And it has a broken propeller. Or whatever's turning the propeller. There's four propellers on it. And whatever's turning it is dislodged or broken. I know nothing about drones. I have never owned a drone. I've never fixed a drone. I've never flown a drone. But here we are. So one of these propellers is not turning and I suspect that each propeller has its own motor. But I'm not super positive about it. So here she is. That might be it. That appears to be the issue. So we're just going to take it apart and see what the hell is going on inside here. With the drone you should get a tiny little screwdriver like this and it's a tiny little Phillips head and the main purpose of this is to change the batteries in the controller which are just uh, regular old uh, double A or single A batteries and uh, there's one screw and there's one tab to change those batteries but luckily this also fits the tiny little screws to take this drone apart um, I thought for sure it was going to be a little torque set or something like that. Um, but it's not. It's a Phillips head, which kind of suggests it was made in America. I'm not positive about that. Don't hold me to that. But to gain access to a screw under this, whatever you call it, this piece of plastic that actually magnifies the light, um, just turn it just a hair. Uh, what is it? Counterclockwise. Just a hair until it snaps. Hair. And then just pull it right out. And there's a little screw right up here. Right down in that hole, the very top of the leg. And then there's two right here. And there's one hidden under this leg for a landing gear. Under each leg. So now we're up to four, and all we gotta do is push down on that little tab there and slide that leg out, and you'll see a screw hole for another little tiny screw. So that's four screws per leg, and once you get done with the legs, there's two at the back of the drone under the battery. There's two in the exact middle of the body of the drone, and there's two right at the front of the drone. So it's at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22 screws, tiny little screws, and that's not counting the bigger screws on top of the propellers. Now you see these little tabs right here on this whatever you call it, light uh, magnifier thing. And they have to line up correctly with these little slats here on the side. And I think there's three of them on each one. Just drop that in there and lock it back in place. Just one click to the right. 
These little tab things on top of the propellers, they just pull straight off. One of the strange things about this drone is these screws that go on top and to hold the propellers in place, they're a tiny little bit bigger. And I'm going to try to show you the difference. Um, if you just look at it with your naked eye and you're not really paying attention, um, you're going to mix them all up. And you should keep these four separate because you don't want to screw them into the wrong hole, a tinier hole, and ream the hole because then the screw that actually goes in there isn't going to work. It's going to be stripped. It's going to strip the hole. So, make note of that. And all that does by taking them off, you can actually fly it without these things. Um, is it gives you access to those screws, which, like I said, are a little bit bigger. I'm going to take one off. And they're small within themselves, but they are a tiny, tiny little bit bigger. There's a missing that gear. There's a gear on top of this motor right here. And uh, the one that's in there just doesn't have that gear. So we're going to have to put this one in there with that gear and then... Trace these wires and... Solder them back to the circuit board. So the, gear, the gears on the motor turn another gear in there, and that's what turns the propeller. And I'm wondering if we could just take one of the gears off here, slip it down back in that hole, and everything is going to be fine. Instead of taking the whole damn thing apart. 
Cause I'm pretty sure that all we need is a gear here, so. Now if we look at all the other three motors, we can see this plastic gear at the top. Now, this motor is missing that plastic gear. And I don't believe it's lodged down there anywhere. It was probably in some field in somebody's backyard somewhere. Uh, this this motor has a black and a white wire. And this motor has a black and a white wire. This motor has a blue and a red wire in this motor. So there's two motors with blue and red wires and two motors with black and white wires. Uh, because when you order parts you're not really sure of which motor. So there's two motors that are same. They give you one of each. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I'm going to try to just take this gear off the, this motor that we won't need unless one of those broke breaks. And put it on this motor, the one that's not spinning the propeller. And I believe there's actually nothing wrong with the motors, just this gear is now hooked up. The problem is pulling this gear off the motor is not easy. So I'm going to try to actually we need to keep this one. It's this gear that we need to pull off the motor and attach it to that. Yeah, see, I don't know if there's a way to do this. I think it's just pressed on there. Uh, and this is the gear that it spins, and it goes down like that, and it spins its propeller blade. And this will save me from soldering wires and from unsoldering those wires and putting a whole new motor in. Um, if the motor still works, I don't know if it got burned up or we just lost the gear. Yeah, it does come off. It's tight. It's tight. So I'm going to put some glue on this. And there she is. So this motor's brand new. It's just going to need a gear if we ever need it. And this, we're just going to put a dab of glue in there and stick it down in there. We can take this propeller thing out. Get that out of our way. And it looks like there actually was glue in there. Just need a dab. Let's find some glue. Cool. And there's one. 
this one. And the switch to turn this puppy on and off is right there, and it's just kind of hanging there. So we gotta figure out how that actually goes in there. gear should hold it even, you know, without the glue. So it's not 100% necessary. My concern is... Well, I have a lot of concerns. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That's the propeller that wasn't working, it was broken. She's working. Yeah, it's important to keep these batteries, the, the ones that actually go in the drone, uh, charged. And this just snaps straight into the hole and plug it in the wall. And uh, you're going to see a red light. Uh, when that red light goes out, that battery is charged. And it's going to be a big difference on your drone. It'll be much more responsive and have a lot more power in it when they're fully charged. 
drones are able to do what they do by tilting it so if you tilt it to turn it uh, some of the motors are spinning faster and some of them are spinning slower you know there's no steering wheel so the only way you can know what to do is to speed one or two propellers up and slow the other two propellers down so each motor is a little different this one has a red and blue wire coming out of it and this one has a white and black wire coming out of it and I'm not sure how they calibrated this if these two are are blue and red and these two are white and black or you know which way it goes so when these lights are on and we know this is the front and we know that's the back because they're red we can tell them we need the back right one otherwise if you don't know they're going to send you two of them and they're going to charge you for two of them so as I took it apart I noticed you can see, actually see, I don't know how good you can see with this camera, but you can see that tiny little gear on the motor right there. That is actually trying to turn the propeller. And that turns a bigger gear that's attached to this propeller. Um, so I took it all apart and I was looking down there and I noticed that that gear was missing. So it came dislodged somehow and the crasher probably just got jammed on to something and the propeller spun it off. That's what I'm guessing that happened. But at this point I didn't know if the motor was shot with the gear. I knew the gear was gone. So should I just change gears or should I change the whole motor? And up under here when you take it apart you'll see that there's a circuit board. And the wires got to be soldered into the right place on the circuit board. So instead of desoldering the circuit board and then resoldering and reconnecting a whole new motor with the gear, I was like, well, why don't I just change the gear on the old one? So I turned it on and and I and I you know used the controller to spin the propellers, but you still could, it's so tiny that you. That little shaft that's actually turning the gear, look, I'll show you. It's like as thin as a pin. And the drone was on and all the other propellers were turning. But you couldn't tell if that little pin-like thing was actually turning. It's just, it was too tiny and it's turning too fast. I was like, well, I don't know. So, the previous owner had bought two battery or two two of these motors so I took the gear off the old motor and, and I put it in or off the new motor and I put it in the old motor and just kind of put it all back together and it's like well is it going to turn or not and it did so the only thing wrong with the motor was missing a gear but you know if I can do this you can do it too um, don't go out and buy a brand new drone one the old one's actually fixing it